Every programmer wants to level up. You could spend years grinding Gleet code, memorizing obscure syntax, and rewriting the same to-do app in 50 different frameworks. Or you could use tools that actually make you better. Not just better at writing code, but better at thinking like a real developer. So today, I'm dropping six tools that will take your skills to the next level. Not just make you better at copy-pasting garbage code generated by ChatGPT. First up, debugging. The thing that separates an okay developer from a great one isn't how fast they write code, it's how fast they fix the code when it inevitably breaks. And if your idea of debugging is adding 500 console.log statements and praying, you might want to upgrade. A proper debugger like JetBrains Debugger, Chrome DevTools, or GDB, if you're into pain, can literally save you hours of work. Instead of guessing what went wrong, you can pause execution, step through your code, and watch variables change in real time. It's like having x-ray vision for your bugs. No more print statements, no more staring at a blank screen hoping the problem fixes itself. Just pure, surgical, debugging precision. Now let's talk about finding code. You ever spend 15 minutes scrolling through a project just trying to find where a single function is defined? Maybe you wrote it three months ago. Maybe it was written by a coworker who has since vanished without a trace. Either way, you need source graph. It's like Google, but for your code base. Instead of playing a game of guess the file name, you just type in a function name, a variable, or even a regular expression pattern. It shows you where it lives, how it's used, and where it's referenced. It's a lifesaver for big projects, especially if you work on a team where the code base is a tangled mess of dependencies. But if you really want to level up, you need to do more than just search and debug. You need to actually build things that matter. And that brings me to today's sponsor, CodeCrafters. Now, I don't just recommend this because they're sponsoring the video. I recommend it because it's one of the best ways to learn how real-world software works. CodeCrafters doesn't just teach you how to code. It makes you build real-world systems from scratch. Want to understand how the web communicates? You don't just read about it. You build your own HTTP server and see firsthand how client-server interactions work. Want to see how databases work under the hood? Try building your own version of SQLite and see the inner workings of a database engine. Instead of following mindless tutorials, you're actually constructing real-world software, the kind that companies want you to understand. It's like the difference between watching a cooking video and actually making the dish yourself. And the best part? You can participate in various amazing challenges at different levels of difficulty, each designed to truly impact your career. You can even learn more than 20 languages by completing language-specific challenges. Whether you're just starting or you're a seasoned developer, there's something for everyone. Signing up is free, and if you want to upgrade to the premium plan, you can use my link in the description to get a whopping 40% off. Seriously, if you're tired of tutorial purgatory and want to actually build something that matters, check out CodeCrafters. It's one of the best ways to become a real-world developer. Next up, let's talk about speed. Writing code is great, but rewriting the same boilerplate 500 times is not. That's where AI-powered code assistants like GitHub Copilot or Tab9 come in. These tools act like an overachieving autocomplete on steroids, predicting entire lines of code, auto-generating functions, and basically letting you focus on logic instead of typing out repetitive syntax. But let's be real, it's not going to replace developers anytime soon. It's more like a really smart intern that occasionally suggests something brilliant, but also sometimes writes total nonsense. Still, for things like automating repetitive tasks, generating common patterns, and just generally saving time, it's a no-brainer. Just don't blindly accept its suggestions unless you want to debug AI-generated spaghetti code. Now, let's talk about something that can silently save your career. Linters. If you're not using a linter, you're basically coding with a blindfold on. Linters like SonarLint, ESLint, and PyLint analyze your code in real time, catching errors, enforcing best practices, and making sure you don't accidentally write code that will haunt you six months from now. It's like having an overprotective senior developer constantly watching over your shoulder pointing out every little mistake before it turns into a bug that takes down production. SonarLint, in particular, doesn't just catch syntax errors. It flags security vulnerabilities, potential performance issues, and even bad coding habits. That's like an AI-powered code review, but without the judgmental size from your team lead. If you're tired of pushing broken code, only to have it thrown back at you during code review, get a linter. It's one of the easiest ways to level up your programming game with minimal effort. Finally, learning new tech fast is a developer superpower. If you've ever tried to pick up a new framework, you know the struggle. Tutorial after tutorial, each one either too basic to be useful or too complex to follow. That's why you need something like Roadmap.sh or the Odin Project for mapping out ideas visually. These tools cut through the noise and give you a structured way to actually learn instead of just hopping between random blog posts and YouTube tutorials that tell you to just install this one dependency and then require 50 things you've never heard of. 
At the end of the day, programming isn't just about knowing syntax. It's about using the right tools to solve problems faster and smarter. So go forth, use these tools, and finally become the 10x developer that Twitter keeps talking about. And if you really want to take your skills to the next level, don't forget to check out Code Crafters using my link in the description to sign up for free and get 40% off the premium plan. Trust me, once you start building real things, you'll never look at coding the same way again. Thank you for watching, and see you next time, fellow codehead.